Listing Diario Editorial for June 20th of 2023. This is unbearable. The country's health budget can't stand any more to subsidize the free birth of Haitian mothers. The free delivery rooms is reaching unbearable levels by saturating the obstetric areas of the public hospital system with patients. The sad thing is that this phenomenon occurred to the treatment of Dominican women in labor who are charged for care. From 2021 to the present, Haitian births have increased exponentially. From January to May of 2021, 11,746 were notified. The following year, in the same period, they rose to 13,840, and this year, they are up to 14,745. A calculation made by the Ministry of Public Health last year placed the financial drain caused to its budget by the Haitian delivery room at more than 10,000 million pesos. It must be assumed that this figure continues to rise like foam, generating a deficit of resources in hospitals to give Dominican patients a more dignified and humane treatment, not putting them to bed two by two. Apart from the direct cost of gynecological processes to ensure the delivery and the life of the mother and child, there are other unquantified expenses for the care of those born for more than 15 days in the maternity wards. Despite this level of financial sacrifice and at the same time of a legal nature when accepting the entry of undocumented immigrants into the country, contrary to immigration regulations, the international community has never recognized it. On the contrary, they have perversely subjected the Dominican Republic to a systematic and irresponsible international campaign to project it as a racist nation, trying to find a way out of the problem, President Luis Abinader announced in September of 2022 that the Inter-American Development Bank, IDB, will finance the construction of two hospitals on the border on the Haitian side. This project, for the moment, has remained in promises. For Listín Diario, voiceover and translations by Indira Rodriguez.